A new testing method to diagnose COVID-19 kicks off today. It is a saliva test that was recently authorized for emergency use by the FDA. And it is expected to have a significant impact when it comes to safety and the number of people that can be tested on a daily basis. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now. And Doc, tell us how it works. Pretty easy test. Um, I'm having a little trouble hearing you, so I apologize. But it's designed to look for the presence of the coronavirus in, in saliva. And all that's required is for you to spit into a vial that's filled with preservative. And the test gets uh, sent to a lab, and the results take between 24 and 48 hours. But it's important to know that you can't eat, drink, chew gum, or smoke for 30 minutes beforehand. Otherwise, you'll be rescheduled. So, Doc, I have to ask, where is this testing actually taking place? Yeah, you know, the FDA is really working with uh, developers regarding home COVID-19 tests. But it was right now, they have not been authorized uh, for any of these tests that you can buy and have mailed to you. For this new saliva test, it must be performed under the guidance of a healthcare worker, but it's possible you could administer the test in the safety of your own home. And for example, you're having a telehealth call with a, with a doctor or a medical professional. So Dr. Nandy, can people take this test at home? Can it be mailed to them? Yeah, and I think I, I, you know, I'm having a little trouble hearing you, but yeah, absolutely, I talked about that. We can, you can administer, you can administer this in your own home, but um, the testing is actually now taking place only in Edison, New Jersey. We don't know when it'll expand to other locations as it's just getting started, but the company did say they can supply over a million tests a month and they have the capacity to, to produce up to five million down the road. So uh, it's really, I think it's going to be promising as, as, as time goes on. Yeah, those are some pretty incredible numbers, doctor. So how is this safer than nasal swabs for our healthcare workers? You know, Alan, I think it's a lot safer than nasal swabs for a couple of reasons. A healthcare worker can has to get fairly close to a potentially infectious person in order to swab their nose and throat. And the swab can actually uh, cause a person to what? Cough and sneeze all over the healthcare worker, which is not great. Whereas this, with the saliva test, it can be handed to the potentially infectious person and when, when it's done, it gets handed back. And so, so less exposure and less risk for our frontline healthcare workers. Plus, it would help preserve PPP, which is personal protective equipment like gloves and masks. And we'd use fewer swabs, which we currently have a low supply of. And on top of that, for anyone who's infected or feeling crummy, you know, the saliva test is much more comfortable than having a swab placed in, your, in the back of your throat and, and makes you feel uncomfortable. So this whole thing is going to be testing as we get better testing uh, and more testing that's, that's, that's user-friendly, I think we'll get on ahead of this and really be able to beat this. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you so much. Appreciate your input. If you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.